Hello everyone, I tried to live stream this, but for some reason there was no audio. I don't know what's going on, I'm gonna try to fix that. But for now, I'm gonna just record my reactions to the new Jedi Fallen Order gameplay. And I'm really looking forward to this. Respawn knows what they're doing. And I think they can pull this off. Lift the EA curse of shitty Star Wars games. Thank you. <laughs> how, what a great welcome. How are you feeling right now? No pressure. You're just about to announce maybe one of the biggest, if not the biggest, games of your lives. I'm going to let Stig answer this one. You're supposed to answer this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> off script. So off. Oh, yeah, we're totally off script. It's they so gave me cards. That was the dumb idea. Script. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome to be here. Um, I mean, it's EA Play. It's E3. It's Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really get any bigger than that. Yeah, this is something that Stig and I have been envisioning for years to see it come to life and be able to show you guys 15 minutes of gameplay today. Well, hot damn. That's Uncut. what I'm talking about. All right, all right. So everybody's anxious to see what this 15 minutes is going to be. Yeah. For somebody watching right now who's just a FIFA fan, they don't know anything. What is happening? What is this game all about, Vince? This is a single-player action-adventure game set post... Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll give it up to that. Dead, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> Set post Order 66 after the events in Episode 3, when all the Jedi were hunted down. Well, not at all. When the Jedi were hunted <laughs> down and eliminated. So, Stig, that's the nutshell of the entire game. What are we about to see? Where are we at in the game right now for context? Okay, so Cal's, like, this takes place maybe about three hours into the game. Okay. So Cal's built himself up. He's not a lowly Padawan anymore, but he's not a full Jedi yet. Sure. Um, like Vince said, this is unedited. Um, we had one of our star players, Blair... <laughs> over there. Um, That's it right there! This is an expert playthrough. Okay. So we're going to see some really cool stuff. Um, he practiced a few times. <laughs> Two or three, Blair? Two or three? Yeah. Two or three dozen. Uh. <laughs> it takes place on Kashyyyk, which okay. is the Wookiee pl Wookie planet. Of course. And Cal's on a mi mission to restart the Jedi Order, and it takes him here to Kashyyyk. Um, and the Wookiees have been enslaved by the Empire, who's basically siphoning the planet for all its resources to uh, build up the uh, Imperial War Machine. Got it. All right, so I okay. brought up my phone, not to be rude, of course. It wouldn't be Greg Miller if I didn't look at the Twitch chat. And yeah, they are all through with us talking. They'd like to see the game. We've gone on long enough. We're not going to drone. Let's do it. Vince, well, let's roll. would you like to kick it off? Let's go. Okay. Here we go. I have faith in you, Respawn. You are the chosen one. Don't join the dark side. Love the presentation already, yeah. This is made on Unreal Engine, I believe. Not Frostbite, so hopefully no technical issues when the game launches. Already it looks gorgeous. Okay, you can jump. That's good. Ooh, you can like force pull the vines? Wall running, it wouldn't be a respawn game without wall running. Imperial Sap Refinery lies dead ahead. I know that Our character. Empire wall with tree sap. Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. Here you go, bud. I love the droid. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. Hmm. You hear that? He said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. Free the Wookiees. 
That's one hell of an objective. Oh, that's dope. Okay, we got a, like a Metroid Prime style map going on here. Love how it doesn't go into a menu. It's kind of part of the gameplay. Oh, there it is. The lightsaber. good. Hopefully it's not fake gameplay, Bioware. Looking at you. But this is Respawn. Again, I have, I have faith in those guys. Definitely has, like, Uncharted vibes, which I'm all for. Over there. One of the cutters turned on. Kind of drill? It's like Project Ragtag, but... But you play as a Jedi or a Padawan. Oof, there we go. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I like that very much. That was the, the Kylo Ren thing that he does. Yes. Attention all units. Keep to your posts and stay alert. Oh. oh my god! Rip the side right off. Definitely less visceral than Force Unleash, much more methodical, I feel. Ooh, I think this is where... This is where combat gets interesting, I think. Yeah, they can actually fend off your attacks a little bit. Whoa! These are like little mini-bosses, basically. The animations look really good. Oh, that backflip, though. Oh! There we go. Took some damage there. Looks like you're blocked. I'll fix that. Never seen a trooper like that before. You gotta get these Wookiees out of lockup. Keep moving, Jedi. You can help me, BD? BD, that's the name of the droid. So the droid has like med first aid kits or med packs or whatever they're called here to recover health. how seamless everything is, the transition from cutscene to gameplay. Oh my god, that is dope. Oh, flamethrowers. You can't, uh, reflect that. Yeah, definitely Uncharted vibes. You can, you know, climb up structures and cliffs and such. You sure you want to plug into this thing? Okay. (laughs) 
Oh, well, all right. The set pieces. Also kind of akin to Uncharted. Star Wars fans probably know exactly what that creature is. Maybe. I'm drawing a blank, but they look pretty vicious. Let me uh, disable the annotations here. There we go. Skill point. So you level up. There is a progression system. Not too surprising. Relive their last moments, hear the dialogue, what they were thinking. Ooh, shit. Got finisher moves, of course. Gonna use those skill points? He's got two of them. they uh, made that look. I just heard from the captain. They're coming. Oh, this is it. Well, at least we have the high ground. <laughs> what was that? At Number least we have the high ground. Classic Star Wars meme right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, never mind. The red dot, I thought it was like injury or something, but it, it's uh... Oh! Oh, that's dope. That's tight. I dug that quite a bit. And these are just like a few of his abilities, I'm assuming. This is early on in the game. Three, hour, three hours in is what they said, the developers. So I'm assuming there's a lot of, a lot more crazy stuff you can do as you uh, level up, as you get more skills. Oh my god, yeah. A lot to juggle in this one. Ooh, nice. Ooh, 
Fu. Oh, man. Ah, that's such a cool power. Is there a force meter? I'm assuming... Or can you just use the force willy-nilly? Is there like a stamina bar for the force? I'm wondering, is that the blue thing down there or is that something else? My god, I love I love the way you can combine these powers and your abilities. And the lightsaber and the force. Stop lasers midair, pull them in, or reflect them back. That's that's cool. This is probably I hope this is just a glimpse. I, it is a glimpse of what's to come, right? What do we think? What do we think? All right. It's a good foundation. I still need to see more, I feel. That's what I wanted, the little boy. Guys. Congratulations. That looks pretty awesome. Thank you. I have Thanks. a million questions, and I know we're short on time as always. I want to point out, though, in the Twitch chat, Gwyn96 says, that's freaking cool. But he didn't use freaking. Um, <laughs> how does it feel to, I think, deliver, right? Like, you guys liked it, right? <laughs> I think I was looking at the Twitch chat. There's a lot of people who liked it. Like, what does that feel like to finally show this game? Oh, it's great. I mean, being involved with this team, you know, Stig and his team have done an amazing job. They've put so much of themselves into this game. To be able to be involved in something like this is just, you know, dream come true. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, huge shout out to the team. Yeah. Um, everybody. Thanks, guys. On everybody who busted their butts on the uh, demo, but also the whole game. The whole game is coming together right now. So nice. it's an amazing feeling. I'm just so proud to be up here, and I, I hope that... Uh, Star Wars fans understand that we're really doing our best to try to honor the brand. I mean, I think from... Yo, go ahead, clap. No, I'm going to stop you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whenever you want to clap for him, you clap for him. Uh, I think that's pretty evident from it. And I liked when we intro you guys were talking about the fact that this is a skilled person playing it, right? We all see it and we think it looks awesome. What are we missing by not having our hands on the controllers? Like, what, 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 is the, what do lightsabers feel like? Uh, I mean, it's fantastic, right? Yeah. Like, what? Because it looks like it's got weight to it and throwing it and catching it, right? Like, that's the impact I think I want from it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's it's really satisfying. I mean, the game itself, it's like, it's thoughtful combat, as Stig likes to call it. It's it's what you saw was Ooh. a really good player, Yeah. right? So you'll He's right over there again. He'll give out stuff. autographs after this panel. <laughs> <laughs> So you can block, parry, deflect. Like yeah. we want the combat to feel really good for people. Yeah, it's pretty in involved. I like, like that. Be part of that and size up the enemies where when things feel right. It, it's it feels really good. There's a yeah, couple. It's, it's, it's also it's about the uh, enemy arrangements as well. Yeah. Like what enemies we're putting you up against. I was about to say. You go in and use your tools yeah. to take them down. Um, but it's not just lightsabers. It's the force as well. Sure. Well, that's part of yeah. this. You were talking to me uh, last night about it, right? This thoughtful combat and the idea that when I watched the demo initially, my thought was, oh, these are canned animations, right? I'm doing a, a force grab and stabbing the guy, and that's all. I hit R1, and that happened. That's not that no, way. No, it's right? all freeform. Uh, so, like, you can go back in and replay things and do it differently, or you and I would have different Absolutely. Flavors. And actually, the, the enemies react to each other in different ways. You saw the flame troopers fighting against the spiders. You could sit as bystander and just kind of watch that fight if you wanted to. Yeah. But you're not going to get any skill points if you do that. <laughs> and it's not any fun either it's fun to watch sometimes but it is it's a lot more fun to play you talk about the skill points are those going into the force abilities yeah so we're gonna have the classic abilities we're gonna have push pull we've got what we call force flip which is essentially double jump nice. which 
is nice because that's something that makes sense in Star Wars, a Jedi actually doing a, <laughs> a double jump. Um, but we have one unique expression of the Force that you saw in there, which is slow, which is a little bit of the glue between Force, Push, and Pull. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. I think I, I, Kylo I Ren you does it. Top my favorite moment in the demo, right, where you come around the corner, grab the stormtrooper, force pull stormtrooper, stab him. But when you force pull the stormtrooper and walked him in yes. the front <laughs> bolt, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. I think the first time I saw that, I freaked out a little no, you bit. You actually yeah. said it better be in the demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. You delivered. Uh, tell me about the enemies we are seeing there, right? Because that's one of those things I feel like we're talking a lot about, seeing things about, a lot about, is we're running through the environment. You had different things. You had your normal stormtroopers. You had non-normal stormtroopers. Yeah, and this is just a small portion of the game, by the way. So there's a lot more that we haven't You're shown. You're saying that isn't the entire game. That is it, not. That's wow. No, no. But we got, we got our classic stormtroopers. We've got... The scout troopers, who you saw equipped with a kind of melee charged weapon. Um, we've got the flame troopers, but we also have the purge troopers, whose task is to uh, basically hunt Jedi, yeah. uh, soften them up before the Inquisitors come in. Um, and, and like we're seeing right here, right? Like this, this bad. That's MF the purge trooper. That's yeah. The, yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, so new that the team created. In. Yeah. There you go. Adding to it looks the pretty cool. What, we're pointing at one that? guy. Did he create it? Just that one man did? Yeah. <laughs> it was a team effort that you led the charge. Jordan did the concept. <laughs> Good job, Jordan. Everybody, great cheer for Jordan. <laughs> so we're going through, and you have these new stormtroopers. You have your fire troopers. You have uh, one of my favorite droids of all time coming back. The KX. And then making me fight him? Yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, you do. No. Trust me, you do. I do? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Well, then. Talk about the other star of this 15-minute demo, right? The new droid. Yeah. BD1. There he is right there. No, BD1. BD1's in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, BD1. Uh, he's adorable, as I'm sure you know. Uh, I immediately want him as a backpack, so just a heads up. If you're talking to anybody in the licensing department, that'd be All right. Um, we can make what does happen. he do in the game, right? Excuse me, we're hosting a panel. <laughs> you can keep it down over there. What, what are the uh, traits? What are we using at? Is he just flair? Is, am I using him for different well, things? Like story-wise, he, he's Cal's companion. He's yeah. an explorer droid, which is perfect because Cal's on this mis mission sure. for survival that's taken him to all these savage planets. Um, BD sounds for buddy droid one, which is... That's, that's respawn. That's yeah, respawn. I, mean, it's, I don't think I didn't notice the wall running either. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. respawn oh, yeah. made this game. Yeah, okay. Definitely inspired by BT, <laughs> yeah. uh, but the name uh, ended up sticking. Yeah. So, um, one of the cool factoids is he's, uh, his voice is authored by the legendary Ben Burt. Oh, nice. Um, who did all the sounds, sound, main sound designer in the original tr trilogy and yeah. beyond. Oh. Um, but he can hack doors, computers, as we saw in there. So um, I'm just scan some stuff there. Yep. Scan the doors. environment for like environmental storytelling. Learn more lore about the planet. I saw him shooting out health packs. Is yeah. that a canned animation after a fight? Is it a button I'm hitting? It's player input. Okay. Uh, whenever so, like, they want. Down on it? Whenever they want, be will eject a stim pack. There's a limited there's quantity. A limited amount that you okay. can find more over the course of the game. Yeah. Um, and you're actually in that moment, you're defenseless, so you got to choose wisely when you're going to do it. Okay. Um, we've talked. We've seen the gameplay. Without spoiling stuff for me. What's going on in the story? Like, obviously, Cal, yeah, I, I thought he was going to be way weaker as a Jedi. You know, just tell me the whole story. What, a to B, Stig, how's it go? What's the ending? <laughs> well, the, the Actually, you know what? Stop. Full stop. I can't believe I've gone this long in the panel without asking. Is Watto in this game? <laughs> Sorry. I can't say. But that's not a no. <laughs> Hashtag Watto 2019. I'll be retweeting them all after this panel. Thank you very much. But what's going on in the story outside of Watto should be in it? Um, well... You know, story's a really big deal deal to us. We've created this with the Lucasfilm. It's we got to keep a really uh, tight lip on it. So I I Thanks. can't. I don't really want to go into too everybody. far. Go home. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the the story. Gotta save it. Okay. I know one of the things a lot of people had been asking. Right, I'd put up uh, stuff on Instagram saying, "Hey, give me questions." Community wanted to know. This is Star Wars canon, right? You totally said, canon. Okay. Totally legit. Okay. This and is a real, Cal's a real character. A lot of yeah. Rogue so, One. Saw so, so Guerrero in there. He's, Elements. He's, uh, you know, obviously part of the Star Wars universe. Um, Seer, Cal's mentor. Yeah. They're all going to live in other places. Okay, yeah. that's great. Vince, how's that feel? No pressure. It feels great. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, we have... Uh, you act like it's so nonchalant. You're making a Star Wars game. It's canon. Yeah, it's not nonchalant at all. It's amazing. Like I said, I'm just like shocked to be up here. I'm like, 
I know, it's a big yeah. deal to work with me, but it's okay. Uh -huh. be right. We've been talking about this for like 10 years. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, the other big community question I've seen a lot is, it's a Star Wars game, and Star Wars games in the past have allowed us to go light or dark. Is that a choice here? Ooh. No. Okay, well. <laughs> there you go. Why not? Because. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, I think it's, it goes back to the fact that Cal's authentic, yeah. and um, he has to fill a certain role so he can be used in other places. Sure. Yeah, this is a Jedi story. Well, that's the thing I appreciate the most, is that you guys are coming in and telling a story, right? Like, I think yeah. that's why... So many of us are excited for it. Is the oh, idea yeah. that this is a Star Wars story that you guys have something to tell, something to say, and a lot of walls to run on. <laughs> <laughs> Vince Stick, anything you want to say to the fans before we let you go? I mean, just, just thanks for the support. The 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 energy here is great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, we're fantastic. Greg's showing us some stuff out. online. Like everyone's the reaction is fantastic. Amazing, amazing moment. The the team, badass. Thank you guys. Hey, go team. All your hard work. Now we just have to finish. Can't wait to bring it to you guys. There's so much more that you haven't seen yet. I can't wait to show you. Believe it or not, there's so much more. There is more at the Microsoft conference tomorrow. That's right. Oh, sweet. And Steak, thank you so much. More gameplay. Out. November 15th. Can't come oh, my soon. God. So much coming out in November. EA Pokemon. Play. The Respawn team has brought even Death more Stranding. Play for you to check out. Jedi Fallen so Order. What else? Jedi Fallen oh, my Order Theater. God, my for wallet. For those of you at home. Ugh. Extended. I, I was about to do a bit. For those of you at home. You will stay tuned for Apex Legends. Yeah! That's what you're looking for. <laughs> All right. Th thank you for the yeah. I was like, that's the corniest joke I put in this thing. No one's going to laugh. Hey, everybody, I'm Greg Miller. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We got more EA Play for you now. All right. So that concludes my interest in EA's uh, E3 presence. Apex Legends is cool, but, you know, I'm not super interested in that. It's We've already played it. Uh, there's FIFA, I'm sure, all this other shit. Yep, Battlefield 5, FIFA, I'm gonna mute you. Uh, FIFA 20, Madden NFL, and then Sims, Sims 4, okay. So yeah, there's really not a lot here at all. No wonder they skipped a press conference. They, it, it's basically EA Sports, one re truly new and compelling game, Jedi Order, and then, um, yeah, uh, every, Apex Legends we already know about. Battlefield 5 we already know about. So no new Battlefield this year? Is that what's going on? That's, huh. That's unusual. And then Sims 4 we already know about. I mean, that, that's already out. And uh, yeah, the model of that game, not a big fan of. But yeah, overall I just need to see uh, more of the game. I think there's a good foundation there. So far, I'm liking how the combat looks like. Some of the animations a little janky here and there. I, I like if I, I if I have to nitpick, uh, some things feel a little floaty. But maybe I just have to get my hands on it and see how that feels. But just a, a couple minor things where I'm like, maybe they could refine that a little bit. Overall, though, I'm gonna get this game. Uh, you know, assuming it lives up to what uh, is being touted here, which is a purely single player story narrative driven no bullshit no frills no strings attached just a star wars story that you can dive into and uh and just play without having to worry about shenanigans on ea's part which is exactly what this looks like i love the powers i love the the, the way the jet the, the the lightsaber seems to control i love the way you can deflect the the shots being shot at you, and I, I love the, most importantly, the way all of that comes together, the way you can combine all of these different elements and kind of get creative with it. You can get a little creative with this combat system, and this is just scratching the surface. There's more powers to discover, I'm sure, more enemies, more levels, and I think we'll find out more at Microsoft's press conference, so I look forward to sharing my further thoughts on this game then. But with that, let us know in the comments below what your take is on the footage that you saw overall. What do you what what do you think you're gonna uh, be tuning in for this game, or do you feel like um, you you need to see more, or were you disappointed? Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.